Hi, hello, and welcome to my channel. We are playing Austrian. If you are new to my channel, I suggest that you uh, do subscribe and do press the like button. And uh, you might also go over and watch uh, my other episodes of this Austrian game play that I have posted on this channel. Uh, we are in the last episode, we expanded, we made uh, more people want to live in our city and we fixed some of the issues that I were having. That is um, a lot of the fixes is uh, thanks to uh, a lot of the suggestions that I have gotten in the comments of the previous, uh, previous episodes. And uh, yeah, we'll just jump right into this, I guess. But yeah, in the last episode, we were jumping into spring. We had placed down lots of houses, many people moving in. Some are still being built up. And we were also preparing to have horses in the city. And I was also playing with the thought of adding the lime kiln or whatever it's called. And to your excitement or disappointment or whatever, I place it down. And it's such a bad placement of this one. Because that is one of the things that actually do affect people's health. So yeah, placing it right next to a house. That one was, I don't know how to say it. It's, it's not a good placement of <laughs> of that one but I guess that one will just have to stay there and the people living next to it will just have to wear a mask or something yeah I guess so but at least we will have lime or we will not have lime we will have to build the lime works also to have lime so yeah Anyways, uh, animals, they are producing more animals, that's good, uh, and they are eating more, and um, that's not so good, but uh, I guess that's how it works, uh, but when they produce more animals, the animals, we get more food, and we get more eggs, and we get more wool, and beef, and milk, I don't think the cows are actually producing or reproducing fast enough i wish they were more of speeding up the process of making more babies i don't know why they don't do that because why shouldn't they ah yeah uh, anyways i want more beef in my in my community so i just wish they would speed up but the horses, they are producing uh, or reproducing more uh, of themselves. So I have uh, now, uh, I have three horses running around town with a wagon behind them, transporting goods to and from places. So that is, I'm really excited about that uh, because that is quite the chain of uh, productions that has to be done to get the the horses to run around with wagons behind them so yeah the um, the horses they make me happy at the moment the cows don't uh, the chickens they cause me a headache because they eat so much the sheep they are just I'm happy with them. They reproduce at a good speed and they don't make a fuss. But uh, the horses, they are also help me, helping me produce uh, more salt. And that means that I can trade off some salt and get some cash in my funds. So um, they are contributing in a very good way to our city. Thank you, horses. But those poor people <laughs> living next to the lime kiln that is just polluting them and they don't have money and yeah. 
Happy times in that household, I guess. Guess not. Maybe that house will be demolished later on. And I also added the uh, river trades place, trading post. Yeah, but but I haven't seen any of the uh, water waterway tradesmen coming my way yet. Maybe it takes a while for them to figure out that I added that one. I don't know. Uh, hopefully we will see boats down the river and um, we can do some trade with them also. But yeah, My conscience about the people living next to the lime kiln, uh, it's, it, it's making me think about placing down the barber. But I guess I would need, I would need other supplies to place down that one. So, but that will be something I will be jumping into soon because they probably will need, they will need somebody to attend to their health, I guess. But a few of the buildings require me to have both glass and bricks. Some of them just require bricks. So I'll get into that. Now by placing down the sand pit and the brick making place. And uh, maybe we will see some stone houses later on. I guess that will be something to do. But I would want to get my food chains or the uh, food production chains up and stable before I add those because I guess I guess more people eat more food I need to have more food in storage before uh, before adding those but but making bricks I guess that is a good choice right now but I think we might be seeing a more a change in the city as it expands around here now because I'm placing down the brick making place and I guess the houses that will pop up uh, in that direction they will be they will be the more modern houses if that is correct to say I don't know if it's more modern but it's more it's not the single houses it's the apartments where more people live in one building. But yeah, I have been struggling with making the warm clothes for my people. I know I can just import it, but I don't want to do that. I want to do it myself. Uh, so I thought maybe importing broadcloth into the city. Well, that didn't help. And then I had wool and broad cloth and I thought maybe that will help. Maybe I can have some warm clothing now and no, didn't help. But uh, I also placed down a fueling mill just to produce more broad cloth from the wool. And turns out I'm missing the sheepskin, dried sheepskin uh, to make the warm clothes. And I haven't seen an uh, option to import that. I think maybe the watery tradesmen in boats might come with them, but I haven't seen them. So yeah, I have to kill off some of my beloved sheep, which is kind of hard to do, and then dry their skin, and then I will have warm clothes. So the family complaining about the warm clothes, they still haven't got the warm clothes. Shame on me. But they will have warm clothes now. Soon. I hope. So yeah, uh, just continue, continuing uh, building up the city with adding more houses to have more people doing the jobs that is required around the city and i can't help it i have to place down the benches and the trees and the bushes and i have to make the people happy where they are and 
I know they sit down a lot when I place out the benches, but I don't think they will sit down less if I don't place down the benches. Does anybody know that? Do they rest less if they don't have any benches? Because I want them to rest. I think sometimes they do rest too much. But, but I want the benches. It's nice looking at them sitting there in the cold in the winter, talking to the neighbor, talking to their friend about life in Austria and just chilling out in the cold temperature. So let me know if you have any knowledge or uh, have made calculations on people and benches. Yeah. Anyways, I have also started building out the city in the direction of the uh, the bridge that I made. I made the bridge quite early and it crosses over to a beautiful part of the map. And I think maybe that will be a farming place where I add more farms. I do have a lot of farms in the other area of the city, but I think this is where I will have my farms and the people working at the farms will hopefully also live close by to where I place down the farms. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But looking at the city now, it has grown very much and I'm probably ending up doing what I always do when I get excited in a game. I lose my brains and I lose my ability to think about the future or to plan ahead and then I just go ahead and place down like I will probably soon place down the pig place where you have the pigs because I want the bacon for my eggs and I want I want the meat, I want the pork, I want that one and I will probably lose my head around maybe somewhere in the next episode and I will just place down too many buildings and I will the, the city will crash. I'm afraid of that because I know how I play and I know that when that happens I will probably give up this city because I don't want to deal with that one or the city crashing because I made a mistake. So I, I know it's coming but maybe this time since I have dealt with a lot of big problems in my own life I can change that. I can figure out a solution to when the problems occur instead of just going out of the game and not playing anymore. Maybe this time I will just continue and try to fix the problems. And maybe you have some advice when the problems occur on how to fix them. So I I can learn from your uh, great advice. But is anyone else like me that you build and build and build and you lose your head at some point and then you just, when when the crash happens, you just give up instead of just powering through and fixing the problems? Is anybody playing the game uh, like I do when it comes to facing the problems in the game please let me know but i will end this episode here right now we have bricks being produced soon and i would like to thank you all for watching uh, if you do like this episode please press the like button do subscribe for more Austrib fun Maybe I'll jump into some other games. If you have any suggestions on other games, please let me know. Uh, and I uh, hope you're doing great. I uh, will see you again later. And I wish you goodbye and uh, have fun.